gondolans can leave Mordor, but you cannot. Your war is not yet over. only the beginning. The feast will last for a week. Your flesh will be morseled out. Pass between us. In, out, in, out, till we can't tell where you end and we begin. to make you dead! Thank <laughs> you. 
He must be stopped. I saw a battle upon a tower. I saw the Dark Lord defeated and a Bright Lord take his place. But the world did not change. I repeat, the world did not change. She turned away from Sauron, as did I, and yet she can... See that? She fears you. She fears what will become of Middle-earth when we defeat you.
shall nothing compare to the power of Shaolong. May he grant me victory today. I am a true servant of the Dark Master. I fear neither this trial, nor you. Like the elves, Sauron values wisdom above all else. But for him, it is a cold, hard thing. He believes freedom is an empty virtue. He believes that Middle-earth seeks perfection in order. He believes that he will achieve what those before him could not. Yes, she speaks the truth. Never thought I'd hear you say that.
You can find yourself all alone. Yeah! 
into tinier bits within the hour.
These archers will not guard you for long, Orc.
truth of Mordor. The orcs have been here far longer than men. Far longer than the Dark Lord himself, even. This place belongs to them, and in their own way, the orcs revere their heritage. We found this sword in a crude shrine, after all. Yet imagine what the orcs and Mordor could become if freed of the Dark Lord's corruption. The orcs can temper a blade, I'll give them that. They produce weapons in mass, but they give little care to each one.
Minas Ethel held many treasures far grander than this necklace, though none more precious to me. When I was a little girl, I would sneak into the Great Hall and take this necklace from its locked cabinet, thanks to a loose latch that only a child's hand could reach. For hours, I would admire myself in the mirror, imagining myself an elegant lady of Gondor, much like my mother must have been. My father caught me eventually, but as punishment, I received only a lecture. Perhaps he didn't mind seeing his daughter in such finery. I'm surprised this necklace isn't hanging from some orc's neck. Perhaps their stubby fingers cannot work such a delicate clasp. This time! Oh! 
Sartharas. Here in Mordor, loyalty passes from Orc to Captain to Overlord, and the chain of loyalty ends in a ring of power.
everyone in Mordor is ultimately loyal to a ring. But rings themselves have no loyalty. Their wearers and their makers would do well to remember this. You've come to the spy? Don't know who he is. But when we find him, well, we don't know yet. But it will be nasty.
Analex of Ruvenir is a collection of advice from a long ago Gondorian swordsman. It includes a series of exercises he guaranteed would lead to triumph in every duel. Like all young Gondorian soldiers, I studied the Analex a great deal, and I learned two key things. One, Ruvenir's swordsmanship was undoubtedly better than his penmanship. And two, in Ruvenir's time, duelists were far more courteous than the Orcs of Mordor. War ignores such niceties. A treatise on fine swordsmanship. All too rare in these times. Such grace is lost on the denizens of Mordor.
career. are pillars of the War Chief's forces. Topple them. Never 
Treasures, lads, and no filching unless you want me to take your fingers. Those supplies belong to us. Get in there and take them. Make 
show you how to bleed, my help Rise, Ranger! I wanna dance with you more! Right away. 